receive the Prince of Peace. Romans chapter 5 and verse 1. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. This week, we'd like to take some time to talk about walking in the peace of God. You know, peace is something all of us want. We desire to have peace in our lives. Uh, and as we understand it, it's not just peace of mind uh, or a state of tranquility, but it also includes having things in our lives uh, in a state of peace. That means there should be peace in our relationships, our peace concerning our work, peace concerning our things in family and all other areas where things are in a state of well-being, of wholeness, uh, of goodness. And that's seeing peace in the sum totality of our daily lives. How can we walk in the peace of God? The Bible tells us, first of all, it emphasizes the importance of having peace with God himself first if we are to walk in the peace that comes from God. In the scripture that we've read, it tells us that we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, inherently all of us are enemies with God. We are disconnected with God. We are distant from God. We are very often in disharmony with God. God wants certain things in our lives and we want something else. God tells us to walk a certain way, we want to go a different way. So all of this causes a disturbance in our lives. We cannot have peace when we, in our lives, the peace of God, if we do not have peace with God. That means we come into a place where we are in a right relationship with God, where we have been reconciled or made friends with God. And the Bible says that that's possible through Jesus Christ. That when we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, He brings us into a place of being justified. That means our sins are forgiven and we are acquitted before God. Our sins are no longer held against us. There is no more condemnation against us. There is no more judgment against us. And so we stand before God justified just as if we've never sinned. And that puts us in a place of being at peace with God. And then we can experience the peace that comes from Him. The Lord Jesus made these promises. He said in John 14 and verse 27, He said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, let it not be afraid. And a little later on in John 16, 33, Jesus said, These things I've spoken to you, that in me, you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So Jesus is promising us the God kind of peace, the peace that comes from God. It's the peace that the world cannot give to us. It's the peace that enables us to be at peace in the midst of tribulation, the midst of difficulties. But we can only receive that peace from God when we are first at peace with God. But thanks be to God that you and I who believe in Jesus Christ have been brought into that right relationship with God and you and I can walk in the peace of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we have peace with you and therefore we can walk in the peace that comes from you. And thank you that this is a peace that the world can't give and yet it's a peace that enables us to walk in calmness and confidence in the midst of difficulties. Enable us to walk in this peace, we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.